tell you down here well I've been looking at cables and different adapter cables and this is mine I've got the uh, nothing wrong with it I've got the uh, cover unscrewed and I uh, wanted to see if I could see what kind of it's a XLR a mic cable that goes from uh, low impedance XLR to high impedance quarter inch TS tip sleeve uh, I'm sorry, TR. No, T, yeah, TS, tip sleeve. There's tip ring sleeve is real common for quarter inch for balanced signals, but TS is uh, for unbalanced signals. And then there's a new one for me, a TRRS, that uh, is for uh, your phones, pretty pretty common in the phones, and that's tip ring ring sleeve. And that will take your, that will do your uh, headphones out and your mic in on your phone, analog signal. And uh, anyway, um, it, was in, it was into a discussion on uh, element14.com with a guy about uh, uh, he was there's a, a sure mic cable he bought and uh, it has TRS and he was saying well you can uh, alter it you know open it up and alter it and there's a, a how to on there but it won't give you TRRS it'll give you stereo is what it'll give you so anyway I thought I'd see what I was interested in here was the uh, Maybe what kind of uh, uh, the 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 Shure cable had a uh, this is a Horizon music cable which Horizon's not in business anymore back in in uh, you know the well I actually don't know how long they were around but I knew about them in the early 90s all the way up to about two oh uh, seven or something like that um, they got bought out by a Chinese company and then got shut down yeah great huh. So anyway, and they made very good cables. I don't know if you, if you know anything about cables, you don't. You go look online and see a cable. You see any insulation like that on them? No. But that that big white insulation is where the uh, the uh, there may be a transformer in it. That's what I'm was wanting to see. There's a transformer in that sure one to uh, a it, part of the process of going from well actually this that's a whole different thing because it's going for a camcorder and uh, <clears throat> this is just uh, but but you don't just rewire for uh, uh, high, high, low impedance to high impedance you do need something to change the signal and I don't remember I used to kind of know what was in there but I don't remember even now uh, so I thought I'll take a look at it and see if I can tell but it's a uh, very <laughs> it's all uh, it's not, I don't think it's silicone. I think it's some sort of glue. Can't hold all that stuff. I was using my magnifying glass to get a closer picture. But uh, so anyway, there's mine, and it works really well. It's 20, 25 foot cable, and it's. Uh, I have I have another one. The kind that you. I'm gonna show it. This is the first kind I was ever introduced to. This one here. You. Uh, you plug on, see it's got XLR on one end, quarter inch unbalanced on the other. You plug it into any mic cable, which is handy, you know. But, um, there's some diagrams on that. <coughs> I think it's telling you the pinout or something. But it, uh, I don't know if I can get it to set in the right place. Nope, it keeps rolling. Okay, let me get over here where I can be in control sorry i didn't know i was going to be moving all over the place um get, get this here on my knee and i'll get my uh magnifying glass and maybe we'll be able to see it okay yeah it's the pin out now we've got shiny issues on my light yeah the sh there's so much uh So much light reflection here. That's the pinout and the wiring. It's a wire hole, complete wiring diagram. Kind of looks just like the uh, a whole lot like the one on the PDF for the sure one. Can't see it well enough to tell, but uh, I'm not even in the picture. Oh, yes, it was. So this one is heck. I don't know what brand it is. I think it's Radio Shack. Yep, Radio Shack. Okay. And people, a lot of people these days look down on Radio Shack, but Radio Shack made good uh, quality components and uh, 
back in the day and uh, they were the place to go to get your electronic stuff from the time they opened up until uh, the, really till the internet stuff took on and you could just order it cheaper and that's really what happened to Radio Shack is you know they just I don't know why they didn't uh, try harder to compete price wise because they weren't make, they used to make things right here in Fort Worth and actually I live in Azle Texas and there back in the 80s there was a Radio Shack manufacturing plant in Azle Texas <laughs> and uh, yeah there's the, the diagram so uh, Anyway, um, I don't think they made the computers. I think the TRS 80s. I have a TRS 80 portable right there. Someone gave me. Uh, anyway, um, from 1983, I believe. So anyway, there it is, and I'm putting it back together because I'm fixing to start using my VAMP and do some uh, desktop recording. My VAMP is what I use for my uh, mic preamp and uh, compression and all. It's got. Com I've used the compression. The uh, let's see, I'm using uh, oh, tube preamp, and then it's not on, so you can't see everything else. But I'm using compression, noise gate, and uh, a little reverb effect that actually is to make it sound like a dead room and not, not uh, you know, reverberation actually. So, anyway, it's done. Bye bye.